In this very quick video, we're going to look at how to display a different caller ID when using call forward in Infusion PBX. Now, many people will want to see the original callee's caller ID when the call is forwarded, but some people want it to display their did. <clears throat> now, what we can actually do here to enable this is we have a couple of destinations set up so let's say for example this uh, extension 200 we're going to play with here so we'll have a look at our destinations now i've put two fake destinations in here did numbers all the ones and all the twos so when that is the destination number that was called we want that to potentially be displayed on our forwarded phone so how do we go about doing that well if we go into the dashboard as we was initially you can see that there we, we we have no options for this so what we need to do is enable these options they are there but they're not enabled by default so we need to go into advanced group manager then permissions for our super admin and if we control F and search for the follow me CID <coughs> excuse me you can see that there's that option there follow me Sid set now what I'll do is I'll enable these two as well to show you how you can use another couple of options as well so we'll save that there and now it's no good just going back to dashboard and then to the call routing because the, the data that enables that is stored in the session so what we need to do is log out and then log back in so we'll do that now Now, now we've logged back in, if we now go to the dashboard, you can see there that there's a new option here, caller ID number, and we can choose either of those caller ID numbers when we're using call forwarding. And it's as simple as that. Now, in terms of follow me, when you enable follow me now, what you've also got here is caller ID name prefix and caller ID number prefix, which you can use to prefix the caller IDs with uh, maybe of use to people in some countries but absolutely not any good to us in the UK because uh, we, we don't display caller ID name and if we put a prefix on the number it probably come up as an invalid caller ID and we wouldn't be able to use it anyway so that's how to change the caller ID on call forwarding thanks for watching see you next time